Today we're doing an in-depth comparison between the Muzzy Tournament and the Cajun Spin Master bow fishing reels. Just a reminder guys, head on over to Mike'sArchery.com to pick up any of our latest logo gear. We got plenty of hats and shirts as well as any gear you might need for your next adventure. Welcome back to Mike's Archery's YouTube and today we are taking an in-depth look at a couple of great bow fishing reels on the market. We're going to tear down the Muzzy Tournament Reel as well as the new Cajun Spin Master, give you an in-depth comparison between the internals and externals and how these two reels work and compare in the field. So right off the bat, both these reels are made in China. So if you're looking for an American-made product, uh, there's only one that I'm aware of and it's really high end. I don't think you're going to find anything in this $100-ish price point in a reel that's going to be made in America. So not something to knock these reels on it's just a fact of the world we live in that these reels are made overseas so as we compare and break these down you've got obviously the aesthetics on the outside of how these two reels look the muzzy has got this elongated hood and it does have those slots in there those slots allow you to spray lubricant in there to keep the line flowing smoothly and then it has a larger hole up front than the cajun spin master now we talked to the engineers at Cajun as they designed this new reel and they said in their testing that the larger hole bigger than what they had really showed no advantage. They both function fine, uh, line flows out of both of them wonderfully, very smooth so it's not something to get real excited about but if it makes you feel better that the muzzy is bigger then you've got that. It does have those slots up front. I know if, if you like to spray some silicone or anything inside that reel to keep the line flowing out well then it's a little easier to get to through some of those slots rather than have to go in that front hole or take your hood off. With that said, these two hoods are interchangeable. So they're built on a very similar platform. The bodies are the same size, same weight. They look very similar as far as the body is concerned. They are both ambidextrous. So if you are right or left-handed, you don't need to worry about which reel to buy. It is easy to swap these over to left-handed to pull that pin out, move your handle to the other side, and use these as a left-handed or right-handed reel. Now, as you break to the inside of these and take the hoods off, they look very similar. Those caps on there, the spinning caps, are again, are interchangeable. They're on the same thread. They both have a dual stainless pickup pin. That is one of the things that both reel companies have improved over the last couple of years. A lot of them in the past had single pickup pins, even with Muzzy, and they have gone to double stainless steel pickup pins. So much more durable, gonna be able to fight those fish, hold, and even if you do shear a pin off, uh, in the case that that would happen, you've got a second pickup pin in there. It picks up faster, but you also don't have to worry about not being able to pick up if one of those is to shear off. Now, as we look at the gear ratios between these two reels, they're very similar. They're not the same, but they're very close. Now, the Muzzy has a 3.4 to 1 gear ratio, while the Cajun has a 3.2 to 1. Now, what that means is every time you rotate that handle one full revolution, the inside housing is rotating 3.4 or 3.2 revolutions, giving you plenty of fight, plenty of torque, plenty of drag, everything you need to fight even some of the biggest fish. Now we've shot with both these reels, we've shot a lot of stingrays as well as some alligator gar. Both of them are holding up very well uh, through all the testing. They're both very tough reels. One of the other differences as you look on the reels is the handle. Now the Muzzy reel has a carbon handle with double foam handles, uh, large handles to get a hold of very quickly and easily, uh, and then it's a carbon mount. On the Cajun, it is a single handle with a stainless steel mount. That's kind of a personal preference. If you like that single handle, uh, Cajun went that direction so that you don't get line tangled up in your handle quite as easily with two handles sticking out there. Uh, it's a personal thing, but if you like double handles to be able to get to them quicker and no one's always at the front, it's kind of a personal preference, but it is one of the differences that we saw between these reels. Along those same lines, when you pull the caps off of there, this is something that we did notice in the Cajun, it does have a smaller pin. So where the attachment of this handle goes into that housing, it's a smaller gear rod attached to that handle. It does have just a little bit of slop in it. I don't think it's anything to get really concerned about but we did notice that there was a little bit of slop in that handle and the pin is smaller holding that handle onto the housing while the muzzy seemed to have less slop in that handle, no real movement there 
and a much larger pin and bolt holding it on. Now both these reels have a one-way bearing with an anti-reverse, so you're not going to have to worry about it spooling out and getting away from you once you lock up. It is locked up with an anti-reverse spinning back at you. As we tore the back ends off of these reels, compared those, they are very similar on the internal gears. Obviously there's a little bit of difference in one tooth or two there somewhere that Muzzy's getting a little faster gear ratio, but it's not enough to really comment on or, or make a huge difference at 3.4 versus 3.2. But when we pull those apart, those gears internally uh, are very well made. There's very little slop. When you hit that anti-reverse, it locks up quickly. You're not gonna get spin back inside there. Now, one of the other things we noticed on the body of the Cajun that we liked over the Muzzy, there is a drain plug hole and lubricant hole built directly into the side of that housing. That way you don't have to take the back of your reel off if you need to get to those gears to lube something, spray some silicone in there to keep things moving well. You can actually get into that reel housing uh, with a WD-40 can or whatever you're using, spray right inside there. And of course, if you happen to drop your bow in the water uh, and your reel gets submerged in some way, shape or form, you're gonna be able to drain water right out of the back of that reel housing by pulling that plug where Muzzy does not have that option. As we got to the mounting foot on both of these reels, we noticed that the Muzzy continues with a riveted steel foot onto a plastic base. Cajun went away from that riveted foot, went to a one-piece housing. It's actually built into the housing of the reel. We feel that's going to give it a little tougher foot when it's mounting into your reel seat, and it's just going to make it hold up a little better, maybe a little less play in there, uh, and less likely to bend or break off. When we threw both of these reels on the scale, they weigh pretty much exactly the same. One was one pound, one and a half ounces. The other was one pound, 1.6 ounces. So that's pretty much identical. There's no weight difference if you're concerned about the weight of your bow fishing bow getting a little too heavy. Now, one of the major differences here is the price point in these two reels. If you're looking for a sub $100 reel and you're getting into the sport, the Cajun is going to be a retail at $80, $79.99, and a great value and a real quality product for that price. If you want to go to the Muzzy, it's going to cost you a few more dollars. MSRP on that one's $119, so coming in quite a bit more expensive than the Cajun reel, and I'm not sure there's a huge amount of difference there to warrant the price. So if you're on a budget or you just like the looks and the feel of the Cajun better, you're gonna save some dollars jumping into that Cajun reel. So as you can see, taking a look at these two reels for 2022, both are a quality option for you. And if this is something that you're looking for to get your bow fishing season kicked off, give us a call here at Mike's Archery and we'll get you set up with the best one for your situation.